not all meat. Dead meat. They say dead food and packaged meat. It is dead meat is prohibited. Even in the Quran. Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 173, Surah Mahatma chapter 5 verse number 3, Surah Aram chapter 6 verse 145, Surah Nehal chapter 16 verse 115, Surah Ramat Alaikum ul Maithu Dhuwad Dhamu Allah Hamil Kinzir, Amma Ahullah Ali Gair Allah Bih. Forbid for you for food, ah, dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and any food on which any name besides Allah has been invoked. Where it is allowed? If you read, the book of Genesis, chapter number 9, verse number 2 and 3, it says that they will fear you, they will dread you, all creatures of the earth, all fowls in the sky, all creatures that live on the earth, as well as all the fish in the sea, they shall be delivered to you. Next verse, Genesis chapter 9 verse 3 says that every creature that moveth on land and is a living creature, they are meat unto you, and also herbs and shrubs. Mention the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14 verse number 9, that ye shall have the meat of all the things in the water. All that has fins and scales you shall eat. Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 11 says that you shall have the lawful meat of the birds. Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 20 says <laughs> that you shall eat the meat of the lawful fowls. It's allowed. Further if you read, it's mentioned in the book of Hebrews chapter 10. Verse number 13 and 14, that if you have milk, you are weak. If you have strong meat, you are powerful in reasoning. Bible says that, not that. That's right. Bible. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, only quotation. Verse number 41 to 43, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, goes in the upper room, and he says, Have you any meat to eat? And the disciples gave him a piece of broiled fish and honeycomb, fish, and he ate before them. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. In the Book of Romans, Chapter number 14, verse number 14, that one who believeth in eating all things, he can eat. Those who are meat, they only eat herbs and shrubs. But anyone who eateth should not insult those who eateth not. And those who eateth not should not judge those who eateth. This is the law of God. Hindu scriptures. If read the law of Manu, chapter number 5, verse number 30, it's clearly mentioned that the eater can eat any creature that lives, even if he eats every day. A creator created some creatures to eat and some to be eaten. Laws of Manu, Manu Smriti, chapter number 5, verse number 31, it says that if you eat in a sacrifice, this is the law for God. Manu Smriti, chapter number 5, verse number 42, it says that a twice born Look at this, look at this. The guy wants to prove evidence, he wants evidence. Brother. What's this? Brother. Look. My father enjoyed that, Zakir Bhai. He enjoyed it the most. Watch now your statement. Yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, he's coming back. Please. What is what? I'm always prepared. I'm always prepared when I quote scriptures. Therefore, it's not on the tables inside. How are we supposed to? Court, unless compared otherwise. <laughs> now they are compelling me to answer. Therefore I kept it behind. Otherwise my books are in the front always. They are compelling me to reply, therefore I am replying. It's within the rules of the debate. I haven't completed it. Oh. You have made it. One, two, three, M. My. 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 Me. No. One. <laughs> So far is laughing because all of you want to put, they all want to put words into your mouth. mouth. Sorry, sorry. They all want to put words into my father's mouth. Please don't do that. G, H, I, I. What word? Christian. Hindu. Christian. Christian. Hindu. Christian. Hindu. Did you see the signal? That's, that's top. Oh. Right, now you read it out in properly. Zakir, my son, I am proud of you. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have made mincemeat of the Hindu, Christian and Jain. Keep up the good work. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it was your inspiration that took me to this field. It's because of you that I have come to this field, Ankar. May Allah reward you for all that I am doing. Communicate, you want me to do it? Zakir, bye.
Okay. You want me to do it? Okay. okay. Just write for me. Okay. Three, four, S, S. Subjects. The subjects. One, two, three, M, N, O, O. Of. 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 The. The. One, A, B, C, D, D. One. And then Jazakallah for helping us at that, at that end. So I was telling my father, um, as I said, it is only four days ago we saw we got the bigotry. Four days ago. We got the bigotry. It's only four days ago. And um, immediately, as I said, we put the tapes on. And my father was totally, totally, it uh, brought him emotionally broken down. We had love. And uh, by the fact that uh, I think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I told him this uh, last night, was it? I told him last night that it must be a specific reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept him alive. On the basis that he's quite serious. This is, as you know, as a doctor, the stroke is very serious. Of course. In fact, so much so that they only gave him 10 days to live in 1996. And Alhamdulillah, he pulled in four years. Waiting for Zakir stage to come out. <laughs> so I told my father that maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to see. <laughs> he wants you to witness that all your hard work could not go down to nothing. <laughs> they can never banish your work as they so much so try to do. One, A, A, have. You have. One, A, D. One, A, B, C, C. One, two, G, H, H. One, two, G, H, I, I. Me. One, A, B, C, D, E, F, F. Forty. Forty. Years. Forty years? Forty years. One, that's it. Read it, what it says. My son, you have achieved in four years what took me 40 years. But Angel, it was because of your 40 years hard work that that, I, that was possible. Because a person makes the basement first, and that takes time, and then the building comes up. So because of your 40 years hard work that I took four years, if it wasn't there, then I would have taken 44 years. So because of Allah, Allah's help that, that we got guidance from you, that you did all this paid work and the hard work for 40 years as possible for us to do it in just a, for a short time. So inshallah Allah will reward you for everything. We want all the, all the people that love you and are doing just because of your, your inspiration. Okay, can you tell my father lastly, what's your project you have now? Tell us your project. Me, I think three years back, that I want to witness a Dawa training college in India and only you can do it internationally. And then there was a deem that we should start a Dawa training college. We did have a Dawa training program last year. But now we have a project of building a new complex, which is a big complex. And uh, the project is big, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it possible soon. We also have plans of making a satellite channel. And we spoke with Ikra channel just when I was there in Jeddah last week. And they agreed to show half an hour the English programs of IRF uh, every day, Alhamdulillah. Now we are successful in showing half an hour every day to more than 100 countries, Alhamdulillah. Because now the age of science and technology, we are sitting here but every day millions of people are watching, Alhamdulillah. And thanks because we all always insisted in quality. And I remember uncle said, good quality, humatic. So we tried to keep up with the quality and now we have beta cam uncle, Alhamdulillah. So this cassette was beta cam, the non-wish. That was the VHS old cassette. So Alhamdulillah we are trying our level best.